Um, okay. Um, Ryan, you were the one that, what was the guy's name that you said was a defensive line that could do the splits? Uh, it's an offensive line. Cooper Lowe. Okay. See, Ryan, you gotta watch him. He lied to you guys. Sean was the first person that could do the splits. <laughs> first defensive line that could do the splits. <laughs> he told me I was gonna take a dig at him. That was a dig, right? That's not <laughs> Sean. I still love him. Okay. <laughs> So Ryan, you gotta you gotta fresh up on your on your history book. Sean is the first one that can do the splits. And I think you can think of it. You gotta show up at our broadcast. Uh, that'll be part of the subscription uh, to the yeah, Trust me, the subscription will go way up, Ryan. See, we're we're helping to pump you up, right? Yeah. We're up on the website. You get Sean doing the splits? Trust me. <laughs> I'll call everybody in my phone book to tell them to join your, to join your uh, site. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> right, as long as you give me a constant stock every week on your, on your radio podcast. Okay. Um, just, a, just a couple of real quick stories. Since we are talking about my son, we've been talking about my son a little bit. So, Lincoln Rodney's first meeting with the team. Okay, you guys want to hear about that? Yes. Okay. So imagine he gets up and in front of a hundred football players. Right? He's on stage, and he says, "We will win." He said, "They didn't pay me a hundred million dollars for nothing. We will." win. <laughs> that was when the message was sent loud and clear. So anybody that, would, that plays football for USC that doesn't understand the culture, that's the culture. They will win and he said, they didn't pay me all this money for nothing. <laughs> we will win. <laughs> so that's what their, that's their model, I think. I think it goes along with the fight song. They're going to change the fight song to put that in there. <laughs> But um, one more thing, uh, uh, we talked about game times possibly being changed. Um, please, somebody find out who's in charge of the game time change, because my daughter plays soccer for SC, <laughs> and I need those game times changed. They have to be in the morning, and we can have a night game, so I can get to my daughter's soccer game, and then get back to the SC football game. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm hoping for some long days this this fall, but it will start with some game time changes. So if anybody can do anything to help with those game time changes, please let me know who you know, and I will call them and request some game time changes because I have to see my daughter play. She's the best athlete in the family, trust me. <laughs> She's better than my son, so don't let my son tell you anything different. She's better than my son, and sad to tell you, she's better than me. I'll never say it in her presence, but that's the truth. <laughs> One other thing I need to include, I have a younger son who, right now, UCLA has an inside track. He's a baseball player, and UCLA has an inside track. So don't tell you until I, that I didn't warn you if he goes to UCLA in four years from now, UCLA beats USC and everybody gets mad at me because my son is on the other team. I warned you, I I'm telling you, he's on the, UCLA's inside track. My son, my youngest son, I mean, he's 15. He hates to lose. And so, after watching USC's baseball team, he's like, Dad, I don't know. I don't know if I can go to USC. He said, they're not winning. He's a spoiled, he's spoiled. He has to win, other he's a bad sport like his dad. But when he, when he loses, he wants to like get in a fight and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I couldn't get him to go to Bishop Avon. He's, he's going to St. John Bosco, which is a problem for anybody that lives in, in the San Gabriel Valley. Yeah, but he's going to St. John Bosco. He's not going to Los Altos. And um, he's a baseball player, and we're not changing. He's a baseball player. I'm going to keep him hopefully healthy and upright, and not with the, the back problems that I have. So there's the forewarning. When USC starts getting mad at me for being a trainer, I 
I warned everybody before. 40 years to change his mind. That's what we got. And when I say we, all of us. And remember, he likes sweets, he likes steak dinners, and he likes to win. And Andy Stankiewicz, I think, is going to be a winning coach at SC. So if he can change it around really quick, he might get another recruit. Um, yeah, uh, you know, so that's, uh, that's it for my family, and I'll take any other questions. Um, oh, one more thing about my son. Um, <clears throat> just to give you, we talked about culture, and um, my son uh, was supposed to go to breakfast with me. I take my son and my daughter to breakfast. I try to get them once a week to go to breakfast with me. My son calls me on a Saturday and says, Dad, I can't make it to breakfast. And I'm ready to curse him out. Because I'm like, this is my dad time. I know I'm getting old. But come on, man, you got to make it to breakfast. We talked about this. He said, Dad, I can't walk. <laughs> that was after practice. <laughs> oh, they, they, they are working their butts off. I'm telling you, from my son's experience, they are working their tails off. And the kids are feeling it. I mean, they, there's been, like, there's not been off days, no way. That's like a celebration day. And he doesn't get out of the bed. <laughs> he, he, he'll get up on the off day and stay in the bed. I'll tell him, hey, son, what are you doing? Dad, I'm in the bed. <laughs> I'm going to rest for 24 hours because I know he's going to kill us again tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, they are working their butts off. I mean, that's what we all want to hear, right? So I'm happy to hear it. I'm in, on the other side of the phone, like, yes, yes. Yes, my Saturdays are going to be more enjoyable, right? I'm, I'm obviously thinking about myself. I'm like, look, it's a lot easier to broadcast when they're winning, right? Because you can say, oh, touchdown, what a great play, what a great block. When they're losing, we have to, you have to mask it. Oh, he tried, it just barely missed. Oh, maybe next week. <laughs> There's all kinds of excuses to shot at night, you. Of course, I'm, I'm uh, biased to the receivers. Oh, he just dropped that one. It's just a rare drop. <laughs> you guys are like, get, get his ass out of there. <laughs> Which we say to my son if he drops a pass too. <laughs> get, who put him in there anyway? He played because his dad played here. Him and Jerry Rice. <laughs> Playing because her kids are here. Can we stop the daddy ball? <laughs> yeah, me and Jared were racing the coach's office on Monday. <laughs> coach, can we talk about our kids? <laughs> it's okay, that's just one. He only dropped one. He only dropped one. Please give him another chance. So yeah, I got my Lincoln Roddy speech on this thing. But um, no, yeah, it's been, um, I, mean, it's, I mean, you guys that have kids know. I mean, it's been um, so special to have it. Kid that plays at USC, you know, following, I guess, in your footsteps. The thing is, he had, he, I had 166 cap, catches, not that I was counting. And if you guys had Tom Arenovic here, did anybody ask him, why did you not throw the ball to JJ more? Because I needed to probably like about maybe 15 more catches till I'd be way out of reach of my son over four years. Yeah, so now I gotta, now he won't break my record because I will call Lincoln myself and tell him I'm going to I promise you that. So if all of a sudden, if he, ever, if he ever gets close, which trust me, it'll be hard to have Thanksgiving if it ever gets close. It'll be hard to have Christmas. I won't want to buy him any Christmas presents. Uh, it, it'll be, life will be difficult around the house if he ever gets close. Trust me, my son likes to rub it in, and he will he'll never let me live it down. So I'm telling you, he will not make it. He will not make it. If I have to hit him with the bat myself, you know, you know, so just remember that I got one kid that's going to go to UCLA if we're not careful, and I got another one that will never break my record, no matter what. Especially if he ever turns his back, I promise you he won't break the record. 